Well, I'm shooting a video of the first phase of repairing uh, Blue Eagle, the painting that was damaged. And like I paint on wood, so I'm going to try to restore it all back together. Had sustained some pretty big cracks and I want to keep it as, to the original as much as possible. So, you know, I'm going to do this in phases and this is phase one. I'm doing all I'm redoing all this backing on it. That's why you see all these clamps, but I'm trying to keep some of the original uh, pieces that were already on it. But the front doesn't look too bad. I mean, uh, because it's wood, I'll be able to patch and use some molding paste and rebuild some of the areas. And I'll be doing that in a, another phase. This is phase one. Just I, it, the, the wood has a bow in it, so I need to try and get that relief, relief that relieve that bow out of it, you know, re, and get it to where it's flat again, so I can paint on it. So this is phase one, and what I'm doing is I'm gonna put some of these cross supports on here, like this so that I have some sort of backing because I'm going to have to do some really really good glue so I have been like some of these areas here you can see I glued some of these corners already to where it kind of will stay together right so I have an extensive wood backing wood woodworking background and um, kind of did my st structural, uh, sorry, here we go, some of my structural work on this. So I'm trying to put it all together. Um, these will help relieve some of that bowing that it has. And this big crack that I have to deal with, I'm going to fill it, fill it with um, a really, really good seal of, of like, kind of like a molding paste or like an epoxy that I'll use for, for, for wood so that when I do press down on it I'm gonna put another piece here when I do press down on it and it kind of becomes all flat same with that section when I fill it whatever seeps through I'll be able to chip it off and then work on it on the opposite side where the painting is so what I'm gonna do here is put this piece of kind of like the original stuff that I use for the art which is revolutionary ply which is made in uh, North Carolina so I'm gonna put that piece there and these will be some backing reinforcements to help keep it flat in this section of the painting, which is very important because that's where the biggest crack is and it might have the tendency to bow. And then I'll reinforce this with a nice hardwood block, a little three-quarter block so that it's even with the back of the painting so that's still going to be able to get it as flat as possible against the wall. So this is what's going on with Itza, and um, I hope to bring it back to life, get it as close as possible to the original as, I, as it was before, right? That's the goal. Um, and keeping and leaving a lot of the original writing and paperwork that I put on there. I'll have to cut another piece and put another back in here for the front part so that I'll be able to, I might have to use some very small screws from the opposite side where the painting is to screw back into some of this backing or some um, really, really good brad nails. I haven't decided yet, <clears throat> but then the opposite side where I'll be working on the painting will be uh, a nice challenge, but that's the exciting part. This is the structural part of getting it, just, just getting it back to where he's balanced and he's not bowing and giving him some life again, right? All right, thanks everybody. This is phase one of bringing Itza back to life, the Blue Eagle painting. Thank you, everyone.